I'm trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet. That bing bada bing ching ching big profit. Did you ever think maybe it's just the Illuminati? I kid. What is going on, you raging lunatics? We've got some voting protocols to go through. Uh, I've got some stuff. Made a little change to the format here. We're going to freshen it up. Hope you guys like that. If you like this type of content, please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And let's kick this off. First of all, we've got no update to Duquan, just kind of meandering around until we're, we're clarified what's happening there. Uh, as far as news for Luna Classic directly, proposal 12088, the Genuine Lab security update. Remember I told you yesterday we would probably get 12088 any day now. Well, it's up for deposit right now, has 91% support. Apparently, uh, I'm sorry, 99.89% yes. Uh, in the initial voting with all 21 validators who participated so far uh, favoring the proposal. Uh, the IBC hooks and PFM introduction are under discussion in core upgrade 2.4.1. Uh, that's on the Commonwealth, which you can find over here. Uh, I was reading the article about TerraSwap being broken here, but if you're interested, then Frag Wordig put up this proposal, so you can certainly go check that out. And the important part is making sure that your opinion is known to the Luna Classic uh, crew and look if somebody doesn't vote the way that you want them to vote if one of these validators does not vote how you want and you're staking with them unstake and move it to somebody who votes the way you want now let's go check out price action price action starting to wane just a little bit i did put this little um i thought maybe we were in this kind of pattern and ripe for a breakout right there up to three zeros 32 435 and we still could be by the way it's a Bitcoin market until it's not a Bitcoin market. And several things took off last night, uh, like Solana, uh, Injective, uh, Render is still continuing to rip. Uh, and, and we had a couple of, of breakouts, Phantom, Rune, you know, not huge, but breakouts nonetheless. And that usually uh, causes money to move in different places. So down about 5% on the day, but we're testing in a range that I'm pretty comfortable with. Uh, I think that's a, a sign or a symbol of a decent reversal on tap. Uh, what I would say is most probably we move this out just a little bit. Um, let's try that again. Let's move this out just a little bit. Get kind of an idea here that, you know, we're just in a longer forming pattern, but it's definitely pushing towards the upward momentum uh, trajectory, if you will. So I think we're we're going to be fine there. Um, I, I think the the market is just kind of cooling off slightly before we get on a parabolic run. And I do think that there is a significant sort of run coming for Luna Classic. I mean, it's fitting all the signs. Uh, this is an accumulation and correction phase. Uh, this was the last impulse move. This impulse move immediately got rejected, if you remember, uh, while the markets were uh, uh, dumping from Bitcoin hitting the all-time high. Now we're back into accumulation Bitcoin around 67,000. Accumulation and then boom, we're off for the big move. USTC doing exactly that without that big impulse move that we were talking about. Again, I don't have as much faith in uh, USTC pumping as I would other ones. Uh, I think it's finding its value right now in the three to four cent range. I think that might be the new paradigm here. And if that's the case, then when we get to a repeg, we'll probably do uh, some kind of repeg and some kind of spread text to make sure that we start at pegging to three cents and then maybe four cents. And by the time, by the way, there's some FOMO on it, could be four or five cents that we end up pegging to. So um, that's your update for the price action. I don't really have a prediction for these other than generally speaking, it's going to have some upside momentum. We're just not there yet. We're in that consolidation range, that consolidation phase, if you will, uh, for that next leg up. And I do think that next leg is coming up. Now let's look at the total volume uh, being done. Total volume down 78% to 176 million. As you can see, just cooled off dramatically, uh, down 7.65% in market cap overall. With USTC, kind of the same thing. Just market, the market is down about 80%. Everything just really kind of cooled off. I think the focus is going back into Bitcoin for a short period of time as we experience another bump. Uh, and then we've got a market cap here that's only down 1.82 cents. Like I said, I think that USTC is really just kind of finding its range, if you will. And I think that's it. So now you know everything you need to know uh, to get you through your Luna Classic day. Look for some price action uh, to move towards the upside, but there's going to be some consolidation and it could be a little consolidation for a few weeks as far as I know. 
but and that will scare some people off. So you might see some dips. You might see you might see some volatility. But I do think that we are in for a massive move. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And we'll talk to you again very soon. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content helps push me up in the algorithm.